I'd have been trying to make mine off of turn two if I'd been him, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Chase Montgomery has got a strong hot rod right there. Everybody's holding a straight line right now. Bobby Gerhardt went to the outside back in the back. We're going to pick up a couple more positions before the end of the day, but not enough to win the race. Here we go, Jeff. Coming down off four, Montgomery with the lead. Looking good. Straight Looking right good. behind him. And Chase Montgomery wins for the first time in 29 ARCA Remax Series starts. The 19-year-old from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Oh, we got trouble right there going into turn one right there. Got a couple guys get together. Got one car around in the wall. Jason Jarrett in the 67. From the field again. Four lead lap cars would settle this in a green-white checkers barn burner. The 17-year-old calmly navigated the remaining mile with Kimmel nipping at his heels but unable to make a pass. Howard delivered the knockout punch and ended Kimmel's string of five wins at Salem, finishing over a half a second in front of the champ. White flag in the air. For the field, Kyle Busch on his final tour around this mile and a half Kentucky Speedway. Coming to the strike, Gary Dehart and the Hendrick Motorsports team on pit road, high-fiving each other. Kyle Busch is two for two in the Arca Remax Series of the Ditec Chevrolet. Kyle Busch, your winner tonight of the Channel 5 205. Good run for Matt Higgins, finishing third. Frank Kimmel gets second, Higgins is third, Shelby Howard and Jason Jarrett, the rest of your top five. And Mark Gibson comes home sixth despite the late spin on the flat tire. Joe Cooksey, Michael Simcoe, Ron Cox, and Billy Venturini, the rest of the first ten. Shelby Howard, but nobody has anything for him right now as he's on the last corners of the last lap to pick up his second career ARCA Remax Series win. 17-year-old Shelby Howard works his way up off the corner, coming down for a win today here at the Kansas Speedway. What a great job by the crew and by the driver. Shelby Howard wins the BPU 200. Absolutely an amazing day for these guys, and his race today was a lot like the way Shelby Howard is in person. He's very quiet. He's very much contemplative about what he wants to do, and that's the way they were today on the racetrack. They were quiet about it, and they slowly sneak their way up there to a huge win. This is his last shot. He's got to get in there, try to get up underneath him, get, get him to wiggle. Can he do it? Trying to close in right now. Rudeman pulling up to the back bumper of the target Dodge. I don't think he's going to do it, guys. Casey Mears wins the double here at Pocono. David Rudeman is second. Frank Kimmel, third, extends his point lead. I would have to say that Casey and David uh, should both be very proud of their runs. And then, like, the next four or five, all six, all ARCA regulars yeah, that. that were right there, lead lap, same straightaway at the end of this deal, have to be proud also. It was a good good run. Third, actually, from third all the way down to, to 12th, they're all ARCA regulars. A big thumbs up for Casey Mears, who wins the giant double. That extra $12,500 from giant food stores goes to Casey Mears and that Chip Ganassi owned team. 
on the back straightaway for the final time at Nashville. No surprise, really, although you might not be familiar with Mario Goslin. Let's check back in on the battle for fourth. That's Marlin in the 77. Stevens trying to race by him on the bottom. I think he's going to get him in turn four. Yeah. But coming to the trial, well, your winner will be Mario Goslin. Second spot to Clint Boyer in the five. Third to Shelby Howard. Fourth spot goes to Doug Stevens. And he Jay did get by. And so did Jason Jarrett got by uh, Tandy Marlin. Jason Marlin slipped, slipped way up the racetrack yep. in turn four. And that opened the door. So give fourth spot to Stevens. Fifth to Jason Jarrett. Sixth is Tandy Marlin. Downstairs at Unrateable. After the Montgomery wreck. Heading to the strike. Frank Kimmel on his way to his sixth win of the year. But Shelby Howard says, hey. I'm going to give you some heat, but it's going to be Kimmel the winner. Howard is second. Jason Jarrett is third. Randy Van Zandt is fourth. Todd Boucher is fifth. Brent Sherman comes back for sixth. Mike Buckley gets seventh. Andy Ponstein is eighth. Ninth to Billy Venturini and tenth to the 38 car. And while all this is going on, that dark cloud we showed you a few minutes ago, it's getting closer. And Joe, the ARCA Remax Series officials have just called this race because of that rain cloud and the weather system that's moving in. We've been talking about rain all day long, and it looks like it's now here on us at the coin. Tony Stewart is going to score the win here today after leading 85 laps. Sort of a dominating situation, I think you would say. He picks up the victory. Ken Schrader comes in second. Joe Cooksey is third. Norm Benning fourth. And Frank Kimmel comes back to finish in the fifth position. There he goes crossing the start finish line. The celebration on Crackside. Let's go to Don Radabaugh and get the word from the winner of the Southern Illinois 100, Tony Stewart. Contact. Jarrett gets by Allgaier for second. Good move by Jason Jarrett. Randy Van Zandt trying to move up. Shelby Howard is all alone to the checkered flag. He will win tonight at Salem Speedway. Jason Jarrett is second. Justin Allgaier is third. Brian Ross is fourth. Randy Van Zandt finishes fifth. Alex Whitman is sixth. And Andy Belmont gave up sixth position. He comes home seventh on the final lap. A very happy Howard Racing crew. The Mack Trucks, Beck Dodge Bunch, Plenty to celebrate. Third win of the season for the young gun. First time ever at Talladega for Ave. Well, this is not what you, you don't want to try and go high. You want to try and go underneath him is what you want is to do. Is he faking high? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right now, I mean, it's going to be tough unless there's a fuel yeah. issue. But, uh, boy, what? I mean, those guys have all done an excellent chance or excellent job, but it's not quite over yet. Through the tri-oval. Just getting to the point of the tri-oval right now. A couple of hundred yards to go at Talladega in the Arca Remax Series. And Paul Menard comes home the winner in the 26 for Andy Petrie Racing and Menards. Second spot to Billy Venturini. Third spot to the 66 of Tony Ave. Great run for that team. Fourth to champion Frank Kimmel. Fifth to Christy Passmore. Sixth is Mark Thompson. Rookie Bill Eversole is seventh. Eighth to Keith Merck. Great run for the 19 team. C.W. Smith comes home ninth in the 42. And Greg Sark. Can I, can, in the 38. Can, can, yeah, can I take a breath? Okay. Okay. Nice now I'm now. going to take Thank a big, deep breath right now. i got to tell you, I'm sorry, folks. But, yeah, I was a little nervous up here. Good two, run for everybody. Two young drivers, both searching for their first career wins. Paul Menard comes up the winner. What does that mean to Andy Petrie Racing, Kendrick? Welcome back to Lowe's Motor Speedway. The Easy Care 150 coming to the checkered flag at the two-thirds mark. 100 miles complete tonight. A lot of it uh, under yellow because of the rain showers that came in a short time ago. We'll show you the top 10. Kirk Shelmerdine, the surprise winner in a car owned technically by James Silk. Car number 48. Shelmerdine ended up in great shape because of his pit stop strategy. A.J. Hendrickson, same thing, comes home second. Jeremy Clemens third. Jeff Fultz gets 11th with Clayton Rogers, Cam Strader, Mario Goslin, and Bob Strait. The rest of the top 15. 